it becomes ever clearer that climate change is the greatest challenge that we in future generations face, a true horseman of the apocalypse. Without swift, decisive action, the consequences of climate change will be devastating. Indeed, for many, those consequences have already begun. On a trip to Fiji last year, I was told, for you Europeans, climate change is a problem for the future. For us, it is a problem of everyday survival. Fiji is just one example of the repercussions we're seeing worldwide. In Nigeria, desertification has caused conflict amongst tribes competing for dwindling resources. In Bangladesh, monsoons have killed thousands. When we look at Jesus, we see one who instinctively stood alongside the most vulnerable in society. It's absolutely clear that in 2019, following Jesus must include standing alongside those who are on the front line of this unfolding catastrophe. As a Christian, I believe in the words of Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. We are the stewards of God's creation. It's our sacred duty to protect the natural world we've so generously been given, as well as our neighbours around the world who will be first and worst affected. Responding to climate change is an essential part of this responsibility. I'm constantly inspired and encouraged to hear of the passionate, creative and committed ways individuals and churches are living out their faith and responding to this call to action, working to address the causes of climate change and to reduce its effect. It's happening across our global Anglican communion and it will rightly be a central part of our conversations at next year's Lambeth Conference. Although important action is already being taken at local, national and international levels, there is much more to be done and it needs to be done far more urgently. We must continue to speak out and act. We need to highlight the wealth of academic research on this subject, but we also need to amplify the voices of those who are living with the daily impacts of climate change and suffering. I think the partnership between religious institutions and science can make a profound difference. The combination and collaboration of expertise, global reach and diverse experience is a real and powerful route to substantial change.